So welcome to the selectmen's meeting for March the 19th of 2019. Please stand uh, if you're able to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There we go. All right, thank you. And with that, uh, uh, Linda is absent this evening. She's uh, ill. Uh, with that, uh, look to approve an expense warrant. Uh, look for a motion to approve an expense warrant for three nineteen nineteen of thirty six thousand seven twenty two and twenty nine cents, and to approve a payroll warrant for three thirteen nineteen for one hundred sixty nine thousand four hundred twenty five dollars and thirty six cents. Do you have that motion? I second it. Any discussion? No discussion. Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. We then have uh, sets of minutes, selectmen's minutes of 122.19. Look for a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve them as written. Uh, and I second. Uh, any discussion? No discussion. Those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. With that, uh, would like to approve uh, three uh, reports. The grant writer facilitator monthly report for February, the fire department report for February tw uh, 2019, and the EMT report for February 2019. I'll make a motion to accept the February reports from those three departments. And I'll second it. Any discussion? Um, the only discussion is, Karen, for the departments that haven't given us monthly reports, can you make inquiries about them and find out when we can expect them? Good point. Yes. All right. And with that, we have several uh, anniversaries. Do you want to vote those? Oh, yes. Uh, the, uh, yes. So, okay. Motion to approve. Motion to approve is on the floor. Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And anyone opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. All right. With that, we have uh, several an uh, significant anniversaries. Um, Bill McLeod, 34 years with fire. Chief Martell, 31 years with fire uh, again Peter Martell for 33 years as an EMT uh, Matthew Graves 27 years with fire and David Martell for 25 years of, of service so significant dates for them and the town thanks them for their service I think it's just amazing some of the work that people have done for the number of years that they have for the town yeah, yeah definitely um, with that I have uh, one, one more announcement uh, a reminder that the winter parking ban is still in effect from November 15th to April 1st for all public ways in the town during the hours of 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. No parking on the streets, whether or not there is snow predicted, and anyone in violation will receive a citation for $25 for their first offense. And that's that there. So then we move to agenda topic number one. Uh, we may need to take something out of order because we're not quite to 635. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Uh, with that, uh, do number four. And, pardon me. Do you want to do number four? The award. I. Hang on. I should have been doing this all along. Okay, so that's the poll, Aaron. So we'll tuck that right there. So we'll come back to that. That's the dog hearing. And that's the dog hearing, so we'll have to come back to that. Uh, we can do this one. This, this, one's a, this won't take long. Okay. The recommendation for uh, the annual town meeting. So the recommendation for annual town meeting is to uh, schedule for two nights, um, June 7th to begin. And the idea, at least at this point, would be we'd focus on the non-monetary uh, uh, articles and on the 21st to focus on the um, monetary articles and with the recommendation to close the warrant on 3 p.m. on April 30th. Also a special town meeting uh, to go 6.30 on the same oh, right. on the, right. I guess just on 6.7. So a couple of discussion. Uh, do we want to make the motion and then yeah, have the discussion? You, you'll do the motion. Yeah, I'll make the motion that we set two nights for the town meeting for the 7th and the 21st of June. Uh, with the warrant closing on at 3 p.m. on April 30th. Now, second it for discussion. Okay. 
A uh, couple of different things. Uh, first one is, um, did we check with the moderator about his availability those dates? There okay. will be a new moderator by then, I would think. Oh, there might be. Well, yes. it's the election. Yes. So. Okay. Um, so we'll have to double check with them at, at a point. At that point. Yep. So. I stood before I book it. Yeah. Okay. Um, second thing is, is with being an annual town meeting, while we might close the warrant from a standpoint of things that we, we're consciously putting on, we, we need to be aware of the fact that uh, with a citizen's petition, they could be turned in as little as, I think, 30 days in advance, or it might be a little bit less than that. So we may have to reopen it, but I think from the standpoint of the planning purposes, it's reasonable to to close it from, from formal submissions internal to the town. Yep, it gives the advisory board another month to work. Another month to work it, just yep. so that, but just so that we're aware of it, that, that we are setting the goal of closing it, but it we'll best laid best. plans may change. May change so. All right, so with that, we have a motion on the floor to set the annual town meeting with a uh, special ahead of that at, at uh, 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6 to 6. 6.30. 6 or 6.30 and then to 7. So on June the 7th and June the 21st. Those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 And uh, anyone opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. That's one more thing done. So we'll slide. Can clarify that the special is only going to be on the 7th, correct? It would be, yeah, that, right. That would be right. Yes. Okay, poll hearing time. How's that? So with that, we uh, want to join us up okay, here. I, I, up to you. I saw the microphone. I wasn't sure if uh, this was the spot. Every town does it well, differently. And the chairman's not here, so you have to work with me, and muddle, we'll muddle through. How's that? <laughs> so what we have, and I'm, uh, I would, uh, there was a petition for a poll on wire location hearing. So Brookfield Town uh, Board of Selectmen will hold a public hearing on a petition of the Massachusetts Electric Company on Tuesday, March the 19th at 6.35 p.m. in the Banquet Hall located at Town Hall 6 Central Street, Brookfield, Mass. Uh, for the following matter, uh, to and the description is Rice Corner Road, National Grid to install a 1JO pole at R uh, Rice Corner Road beginning at a point approximately 550 feet northwest of a center line of the intersection of Arnold Road and Rice Corner, Sturbridge Brookfield Line, and continue approximately 125 feet in a northeast direction beginning at an existing pole 146, which is about 550 feet northwest of the Sturbridge Brookfield Town Line. National Grid is to install pole 145-50, approximately 125 feet, of, should probably be feet, uh, from uh, pole 146 in a northwest direction in approximately 125, again, I believe, feet yes. southwest of existing pole 145 in front of 196 Rice Corner Road. If that is true. So then uh, we have two documents to sign, three, three documents to sign, as long as we do all agree. Anything else that we need to know about? Uh, no, it is uh, the, the new pole uh, 145-50, basically splitting the distance between pole 145 and 146. Um, and the reason why we're doing is because pole 145, there's lawn spans between it. He has an extra, I don't know, but this is just one I printed out. I have one for myself. Um, the, the communication and phone cables actually skip 144-1. And so it's creating a very long span on that case for the phone and cable wires and between 145 and 146 is long to begin with. So it's really leaning over the road uh, and also endangering um, because there's an underground service for 196 that's attached to that pole uh, that could cause problems with someone's service. Um, so we want to uh, install the new pole, which will help cut down the spans and we're also replacing um, you know, pole 145 is part of the job as well. Um, and, you know, if it's approved, then it will be uh, put into scheduling. And um, we did have, I did have a email request that was forwarded to me to see if that pole could be set per the um, 
the highway director or uh, department dbw director uh five feet away from the pavement we can do that i did restake it uh, that's only going to be one or two feet away from the customer's fence but we should be able to do that and the anchor for that would be over the fence good deal so any other input so 145-50 is going to be the new pole, new pole. yes Okay. Again, any other public input? Seeing none, we'll close. Uh, no, we'll vote the approval of the request by National Grid to install a poll. I'll make the motion to approve the poll request. And I'll second that. Any further discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. So I'm signing. No, that will be okay. We have that on record and it'll come to us and need to get signed it looks like it says it needs to be signed by the town clerk as well he, I, I don't know i don't remember it's been so long since it's full here but if he does we'll have a little time on that okay, okay. Yeah. great that's usually how it does and, and then they send it so yeah okay, thank you very much great, thank, thank you, you. to vote uh, the materials for the Hayden and Hyde project. Um, it's a CBD just for everybody's uh, um, background. It's a CBDG um, project and that the, uh, uh, the uh, chosen contractor is Poppy Construction for a bid of $364,373.02. So do I have a motion to accept or make the award uh, i'll make a motion to accept the uh or make to award the bid uh, for the Hayden and hyde project uh, for the materials provided and i'll second it any further discussion those in favor signify by saying aye 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 and anyone opposed no one's opposed motion passes do you see how this has got lenders do you want to wait or do you want me we can wait. Yeah. yeah. If, that, if it because it's, the chairman has to sign them away, I'll have her yep. come in tomorrow. Yep. Hopefully she's feeling better. All right. And with that, um, look for a motion to uh, make the award for printing of the annual uh, town report. Uh, the uh, low bidder is Country Press for $1,251. Okay. I'll make the motion to accept Country Press's bid of... Uh, $1,251. And I'll second it. Those in favor of the bid signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. Do we need anything, Karen? Or are you good? Very good. No, that's fine. Don't have to sign anything. Good. All right, so where are we? We took care of Hayden Hyde. We took care of the town report. And we now, oh, an extent we've had a request by CMRPC to extend the 20 uh, fiscal year 17 CBDG grant. Um, entertain a motion to approve the, the signing of the extension for FY17. I'll uh, make the motion to. I'll second it. That. And again, it's for Linda to sign. So, uh, uh, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. And again, this is uh, Hayden Hyde Engineering. We have uh, a bill, the invoice for uh, engineering for Leonard Construction and uh, Leonard Engineering uh, for uh, the management. Over the engineering, and that's for one thousand one hundred and thirty dollars and ninety-two cents. Motion to approve. I'll make the motion to approve that. And I'll second it. Any further discussion on Hayden Hyde Engineering? 
Seeing none, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, oh, aye. And those opposed, no one's opposed. Motion passes. And then the second invoice for uh, CMRPC for the FY17 uh, management uh, of the four projects for a total of $3,025.80. Do I have a motion to that effect? You have that motion. And I second it. Any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. So, and I'll leave those for Linda as well. I think this, is there one more to sign? To no, I got the, there's actually two. Okay. Yep. All right. Can I just see the packet for a second? Sure. Just in case they, they might have gotten together wrong. There's two. Oh, there's two? There is two, yeah. Oop. All right. Give me so a we've got motion the, to. Let me, uh, uh, can I? Yeah, go what ahead. do we want to do? We want to rescind. Let's uh, rescind the original vote. Oh, we'll for just, add it, just add it. Okay, it's that's a true. Whole, it's, a, it's a whole separate invoice, yeah. actually. So we voted the one that was what thirty six hundred. Uh, three three thousand. thousand. We voted the one thousand and thirty and three thousand. I did that one. Okay. All right. So I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the invoice for Hayden Height Improvement uh, Project work for the uh, two thousand eighteen CBDG. Uh, grant program uh, for three thousand six hundred fourteen dollars and fifty eight cents. I'll second that. And with that, this was FY seventeen. That's this FY eighteen. Right. Oops. So that goes there. I've got this the goes motion. this. And those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. All right, so this is clear government. We talked about this last month, and uh, this is to go for a uh, mass compact grant to receive financial information. And so. Uh, so I know that the grant writer had expressed a concern that there might be other quote unquote better opportunities for us as a community from a standpoint of compact monies. Oh, okay. Well, and, and again, I. Maybe what we should do is wait, have her make the recommendation. Because yeah. I believe this is a recommendation. She did tell me that she was okay with it. Because when I, she told me she couldn't come today, she said she's fine with it. And I asked her about that. Because I remember she said that. And she said, no, she thought that perhaps Al needed to use it for his assessor software. He doesn't. So she does agree with this. Okay. Okay. All so right. this is, and, and again, back to just background. So that there's a uh, government, a uh, uh, private and, uh, private entity now uh, pulling uh, government data with respect to the different towns. And so the, the mass compact monies are, are available for towns to secure a grant for uh, getting this information, at least for one year. And so uh, uh, what Kathy is recommending, recommending is to go after the grant to get this ma uh, material for at least one year to help the capital improvement, to help uh, advisory and board yes. of selectmen. Mm -hmm. So, with that, do we want uh, we want a motion that uh, have Kathy pursue the grant? Yes, I'll give you that motion to have her pursue the grant. All right, and I'll second it. Any further discussion? No. All right. With that, uh, those in favor of uh, going after the grant, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. All right. Next on the list. We have a uh, fishing and boating access permit request by for Quaybog Pond by the Bog Hog Baits uh, Group for four 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 what date? Uh, April the twelfth. Do I have a motion to approve the one and only only uh, request that we have? I'll, I'll make the motion to approve the special permit request. And I'll second it. Those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. For your secretary. Yeah. All right. It's still not set. So with that, <clears throat> we have a notice of a request for or a notification of retirement 
So this is to the Board of Selectmen. I am writing to inform that on March the 29th, 2019, will be my last day of work for the Brookfield Highway Department. Following my four weeks of vacation, I will retire from my position as Highway Superintendent, effective April 29th, 2019. Thank you for the opportunity to serve the town, and I look forward to returning to the private sector employment. So with that, I entertain a motion to accept a resignation. I'll make the motion to uh, accept uh, the uh, retirement of our highway superintendent. And I'll second that. Um, Karen, we probably should write a letter with this uh, expressing our appreciation for his years of, years of service. So. I, I did want to touch on something with regards to that. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, first of all, he's he's done you know a lot of uh, he's done a lot of work, and and one of the things I think we'll see when we subscribe to that clear government software is exactly what kind of value we were getting from the highway department under under Herb's leadership. Uh, but in the interim, I, I think one of the things that we owe the rest of the highway department is a couple of different things. One of them being. Um, that uh, we probably want to go ahead and get the activity moving to post a position sooner rather than, than leave everybody in limbo. Um, and then the other thing that I'm, I'm strongly in favor of is that I know if, uh, if say, a, a, a police officer is stepping up for the chief, there's, there's compensation that we can offer. I think we need to work out what the division of labor is going to be down there for the interim and make certain that we uh, get with the personnel committee and see if we can come up with some equitable way to address the extra burden that's going to be on the folks that are down there that will be, be shouldering the, the burden, um, whether it's whether it's Donald, whether it's Cindy, or whether it's something for both of them. Right? Yeah. So in conversation with Donald and with Cindy, they, they look – uh, where we are now is between now and, and the time that her is official. Cindy's got authorization so to do the sign, signing and whatnot. So the, that authorization with his retirement goes away. So we would have to then uh, appoint somebody as an in, in a, point, a point for an interim. What I'm suggesting at this point is that Donald and Cindy have volunteered to take pieces of that. Right. So we need to make that make that official probably at our next meeting. Okay. Uh, but again, I, I would also say with what you're saying is that we need to go post as quickly as possible. And again, their their interest is to keep the, the wheels on as far as what's going on, and that that's what they look to be doing. But they look to also have us move quickly um, right. to secure new resources. Now, now I did have one resident approached me already about whether or not we wanted the um, support of a, of a basically a hiring committee to help with screening resumes and, and potentially doing some of the pre-interviews. Uh, I know depending on the position, sometimes historically we've done that, sometimes historically we have not done that. Uh, it can be considered a best practice. I don't know if we want to talk about that at, the, at our next meeting. I would hope that what we would do is uh, that we get some resumes in here and then look at how, how to best manage reviewing the, the Yeah, I, that, that's at least at this point. Uh, okay. Fair okay. So Just curious. So anyway, so, the, so action's out of it that we move quickly to post. Yes. All right. So with that, I think there's only one other piece of correspondence. And then I think, well, let me just make sure. Yeah. So we've got the extensions, we've done that, we've done paid we're them, yep. clear government, we've done that, we've done the special view print, so now, now what we have, oh, okay, so this is uh, the charter school down in Sturbridge looking to plant a tree uh, as part of a uh, community outreach, and I would recommend that we refer this to Cultural Council for their recommendation as to the planting of a tree on the common. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right. So with that, um, Karen, but I don't think we need a vote. It's just that we'll refer to the Cultural Council for their yeah. recommendation as far as the planting of the tree. With that, we have six minutes before, poll, uh, before the uh, hearing. So... We want to recess for... We will, uh, yeah, why don't we do that? We're going to recess till 7 o'clock till the hearing.
seeing how it is seven. Sharon, you're on. With that, Sarah, do you want to come forward and? Yep, please. And pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 140, Section 157, a public hearing will be held at 7 p.m. Tuesday, March the 19th, in the banquet hall in the Brookfield Town Hall to consider an action to be taken regarding a nuisance dog. Sir, anything that, uh, from your perspective, as far as from my perspective, yep. Um, yes. I have had uh, numerous calls going back for the last three years, actually, about um, the dogs on Weber Road. Um, at first, I was able to get in touch with the owners uh, fairly easily. They'd bring the dogs in. It would be good for a little bit. Uh, the barking would start up again. The calls would start up again. But late, then it became, I don't want to even use the word lately, but then it became uh, the police and I were actually running into difficulty getting a hold of the owners too so sometimes there would just be large gaps of consistent barking where we just couldn't find out where they went um then the um calling party actually asked me just to do one thing to come over to her house and come and just stand in her home when i did all i could hear was the barking through her walls um it's i don't think it's a matter of uh, she wants anything. Hang on, just a second. Oh, uh, all right. Obviously, they're not coming in for your hearing. No, okay. I think, I think they're coming in for the conservation committee, which is over at the police station. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. I don't think it's anything that she wants negatively done. It's just uh, when the dogs do bark, she can hear it in her home. And I mean, she's an elderly woman, um, and it's just it's a matter of. Um, uh, quality of life, living life. I'm not sure what the term is, but yeah. So this is your input from Gertrude Smith? Yes. All right. So the Williamses. Your dogs? All right. Your opportunity to come forward and make comment if you'd like. Do you want me to leave? Hmm? They come over here? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's what you're looking for who? I'm sorry. Building it's tomorrow night. tomorrow night. It's Wednesday, not Tuesday. Oh, All right. Tomorrow night. Would you like to come forward? Um, as to what she had mentioned about the dogs, when we would receive a call, we would take action. We, my husband and I had talked that we haven't heard anything in a long time, so that must go to your point of saying she hadn't been able to get in touch with us. I don't understand why, because we didn't have messages on our home machine, but for one reason or another, she couldn't. Um, I know the police actually called us on, got a hold of my husband's cell phone and called us on Super Bowl Sunday. We were in North Brookfield, and we actually came home because he said there were many calls, so we came home. My, um, the neighbors were gone. Their dogs were out. We were gone. Our dogs were out. So we headed back and all of that. Um, due to the barking that does happen, we have already rehomed in December one of the dogs. And prior to this meeting, before we even got notice, I was at my daughter's and in her living room can't hear a sound. She has a wood stove, she has a television, we're visiting. I went into the other room, it was silent and oh my gosh, I could hear the dogs. I could imagine, as you're saying, over at her house, if it's an older home, thinner walls, what she is going to hear. Um, and when my, I was babysitting, whatever, and when my daughter came home, I'm like, I need to find someplace else for Sarah. And I explained what I had, Sarah's the mouth of the dog to me that was making, would not stop. Um, and she said, is that because of what's on Facebook? And I'm like, what are you talking? And that's when she said, the meeting, and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking. It's because of what I've been listening to. And we have since, rehomed that dog. So we are down to 
our great Pyrenees and a shepherd mix and then one other dog who we're trying to find a home for because she's a foster that's why we took her in so we think we've taken care of the biggest problem because that particular night when I was in there in the other room I could hear our Pyrenees they would bark mm -hmm. but they would settle down and the smaller white dog because <laughs> um, like we have separate fe we have three different areas where the dogs can be kept okay. and she would be as though she's barking at them and then suddenly they were barking back and it's like no the fence fighting game yes I can see you peeking around the corner and that was where we are because no and I can't blame her because I wouldn't want to live like that either and so that's the action we've taken before even knowing this was coming um, we last year at this time had six dogs one passed away then the one we found the home for and then Sarah who I immediately was like you know love to find the perfect home but she can't be here any longer and that's that's all I have to say okay. Sarah a recommendation um, my only recommendation was going to be um, possible use of bar collars um, I don't think there was any need to try and tell them to get rid of all their dogs Although, I mean, that was a very, um... I, I honestly don't think she would stop otherwise. Yeah. You know, she has, a, she has that personality, and the more she became comfortable there, the more she decided we were her people, they were not. Yeah. Like, some dogs can be like, yeah. So, that was going to be so, the only um, suggestion. So, was so a recommendation if... if yeah. yeah. We've, if, we've tried the bark um, boxes. Oh, like the birdhouse things? Uh, I've thrown those away. <laughs> I'm willing to try a bark collar if that will. Um, I don't, can't guarantee the effectiveness, but it's worth a, the um, bird cages worked for like two weeks. And then, you know, and then that was it. And then yeah. that was it. Okay. Yeah. So, Sarah, are you comfortable? Yes. All right. So, with that, anything else? No. So, with that, I'll, I'll close the hearing and thank you very much for your oh, attending. And I'm sorry there was no. Contact. It would have been. Oh, that actually it, was going to ask you for a uh, make sure I have the right number oh, still. Yeah. Um, and, and, too, so. and that would be lovely. I know. Okay. Yeah. So you guys. Can I do was that? amazed. Like, oh my God, the, the cops found us. <laughs> you know? Good. My mother doesn't always find us. Well, the police because they're like, oh no, no, don't worry, we'll find them. But I'm like, wow, that's a dedication. Yes. She said she found us. <laughs> Okay, great. All right, thank you. I appreciate your coming in and, and uh, resolving it. Um, do your best. Thank you, Sarah. Awesome. Keep going. Thank you. With that, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh, you have that motion. I'll second it. Those in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passed.